Didn't take long for police to find the woman who shot a food truck worker downtown last year. Not only were there a number of witnesses, the shooting was recorded by the Real Time Crime Center. News 13's Dean Staley has a look at the recently released video that led to her arrest and the reason she gave for firing the shot. May 21st of last year, early in the morning, Albuquerque police are called downtown after a food truck worker is shot. The entire incident caught on camera. It sounded from what I briefly heard is pretty much everybody was just kind of doing their thing. It was a random, it was a random, random buy and random shot. shot. We've got the plate number, so at least we can follow up with that. Their investigation led them to Ambrosia Mirabal. Thanks to the clear image of the car from the real-time crime center and help from several witnesses. I saw it happen, bro. I was walking my dog and they just let off shots on that taco truck. What the truck look like? It was, a, it was a black car. Mirabal admitted driving the car to the intersection of 3rd and Central, but this was no random incident. She told police she was trying to scare her, quote, baby daddy for talking to another woman when she fired off a single shot. You can see a muzzle flash coming from the car, causing the crowd to scatter before leaving the scene. The bullet didn't hit the man. It went into the food truck. Two choices over there. She was standing in the yeah. window or in the back? Over well, we here by the fridge. Striking a woman inside. She got hit in the side to bullet. The victim was taken to the hospital. The bullet lodged in her chest. Thankfully, she survived. Mirabal was arrested two days later. Dean Staley, KRQE News 13. Maribal pleaded guilty to aggravated battery with a deadly weapon back in March. She faces anywhere from zero to five years in prison when she is sentenced.